So we got a microwave here that's not working. And uh, the problem is it's been blowing a fuse. And there's several fuses in these uh, microwaves that are easy to replace. But this one keeps blowing the fuse over and over. So I'm going to take a look inside and see if we find anything that shows um, some burnt marks or anywhere where it's getting hot that might be triggering that fuse to blow. And go ahead and unplug circuit breaker. So I got the microwave pulled out. And uh, right down here, you got a white, this is a, where the power comes in and you've got a white fuse here and there's another one that goes here. This is the one that keeps blowing. And as I looked around, I was just checking where there's other fuses on the on the microwave. There's one here. There's a thermal fuse inside here, one in here. I didn't notice anything else that had any um, any burn marks or any places where the microwave appeared to get hot. Uh, but there is two places that you might want to look really closely is on each side of the microwave door, uh, there's a switch. And on this side of the switch, there's uh, three or four connections here, all going into that. And then that switch looks like this here. This is where uh, this arm pushes inside to the microwave and then activates that switch. Well, there's one on the other side as well. And what I found was that on this side, the wiring, the plastic holder for the wiring, you can see that orange burn mark on it right there. And that there was something shorting behind this switch that was causing um, some heat. So I went ahead and um, I put some liquid electrical tape on the end here just to, to try to cover it up a little bit. Also on the other one, you can see it's yellow here is getting hot. This, this white or beige plug has got some, some definite browning burn marks in there. So what that tells me is the switch that goes right down in here is, is uh, sparking or something, and it's causing uh, electric, electric uh, surge, and then this fuse over here is what's going out. So let's take a look at what this switch looks like. Now when it's mounted inside the unit, it sits in there like this. Then when you open the door into this um, hole here is where that piece will go. You hear that little click. And then when it goes in there, your, your, your door lever here is clicking on that red little uh, pressure switch. So there's a little switch here and I just press it like this. Goes in, comes out, goes in, comes out. And that makes a connection, lets the microwave know, hey, you can operate because the doors are safely closed, right? Um, the issue is, is this little piece here is bad. And you can see it's got a lot more of that burn marks on here. It actually looks a little melted. And in fact, these little metal pieces here, they're floating around and kind of moving like the plastic inside gave up or something. So they're not really in place good. So basically I'm going to replace this little door switch. I bought a pack of four of them for about 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link to this in the video description so you can find these. Uh, and here's the same basic same switch. Just so it doesn't have a little red detent. But the little, little detent clicks in there. And then on this one, the little tabs are going to plug in that electrical wiring. Nice and stiff. So the switch is, is um, in good shape because it's brand new. And this is a microwave that's about five years old. So I got the wires attached and I'll go ahead and bolt in this holder into the microwave. Go ahead and put another good fuse in there, and then I'll go turn on the circuit breaker. And put that circuit breaker back on. All right, so we got power 
Got the clock working here. Got the light coming on. And that was what was triggering it to blow before. So the fix is working. The fuse has not blown again. And I've been able to use this for the last couple days now um, without any problems at all. So definitely the surge was coming out of that door switch causing that fuse to blow. So hey, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. That'll help other people find it as well. Uh, and look in the video description for links to some of the parts uh, that I use to make this repair. And as always, have a great day.